if it's about like back in the next video and uh in today's video i'm not too sure on what exactly i'm going to uh be calling this video but i think i'm going to be calling it let's talk season three of the mandalorian uh so yeah this isn't a review or anything uh it has yet to come out uh, i don't because usually I do these Let's Talk videos for kind of review slash talking about a movie or show, whatever, a trilogy. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's been a couple, like, news, uh, pieces of news that I think would be, that kind of involve the Mandalorian. I say involve in kind of quotation marks there. Uh, just be, or like sarcastically. Um, just because, um, just because, because it, it includes the actors, basically, in the show. Uh, so, yeah, um, there's some news revolving around K Pedro Pascal, the guy who plays Mandalorian, or Din Djarin, and then there's Cara Dune, or Gina Garano. I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name, but I, I can't get her last name properly, cannot say it properly <laughs> and I feel like I'm mispronouncing and I kind of feel bad doing that but um yeah so let, let's just get into this uh Mandalorian season 3 is supposed to be coming out in 2022 the ending of 2022 in 2021 uh in 2021 sorry about that we're supposed to be at the ending we're supposed to be getting a uh, book of Boba Fett tv show um, I'm not too worried about that. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be on track. It should be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be talking about that in this video. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll start with the first news. Um, I've already done a reaction to this p news before. Um, I'm not too sure when I'm going to be putting up this video, but I did do it. You guys should have at least seen it. Um, yeah, Gina Garano. I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name, but... Yeah, she was she was fired from the show for like offensive tweets or she was doing bad stuff on social media. That's what I that's what I'll just say. Um or stuff that wasn't very good. Um But yeah, uh, agree or disagree with that. Um it's kind of it's set in stone. She's been fired probably never to come back as character to be honest. She may like in 20 years, who knows. But she is, for the most part, fired from uh, Star Wars and Lucasfilm, basically. Uh, and yeah, even her agents uh, let her go, whatever. And yeah, she's been fired from that. Whether you agree with it, disagree with it, it's just it's just set in stone. Uh, there's nothing really more you can do. <laughs> but yeah, um, personally... I'm just going to put it uh, short. I, I'm still going to watch The Mandalorian. I know some people don't want to watch it because of that. But personally, I would still watch it even if Grogu died or something. I would still watch it. I, I think of myself once I'm set in, I'll watch it no matter what happens. Uh, even if some say like Pedro Pascal just quit being The Mandalorian. I think I would still watch it even though I enjoy... Um, him as the Mandalorian, or say Tamora Morrison quit being well fed. Yeah, you guys kind of get the idea there. But yeah, uh, she's fired. Whatever. Um, he's kind of past that point now. Uh, so yeah. Uh, in terms of what's gonna happen with Cara Dune, I've been seeing some stuff online. Um, I've seen three possibilities. Um, one of which is she's recasted. Uh, two is she dies. Three is she just goes missing. All right, I mean missing by like we don't know what happened to her. She just disappears basically from the Star Wars universe. Um, yeah. Uh, those are some definitely interesting things. Um, that that's probably what you get drawn to. Once you realize an actor kind of leaves the role, but she didn't really leave the role. She got, but yeah, you guys know already. But um, in my in my opinion, 
I feel like recasting her is not. I I don't think you should recast her. I think Lucasfilm slash Disney or whatever, whoever's in charge of casting should recast her. In my opinion, I think uh, she should d- die. Honestly, um, it feels like it's not very satisfying. Slash, you can think of so many different theories and all this for if he just disappears. And recasting, I don't know what to really say about recasting because I'm going to be purposely honest. I wasn't a huge fan of the Cara Dune care, care, or I was kind of. Um, I wasn't like a huge fan of her. Um, and I, honestly, it has nothing to do with Gina Gar- Garano. It's I'm pretty sure if they recasted her, I still wouldn't like her. It's just it's just my honest opinion on it. Um, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that character. So yeah, I'd much rather just see her just die and kind of for, not forget, but obviously you would remember, but like, you don't have to be wondering all the time what happened to a character, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's just my opinion on that, on that topic. Uh, yeah. Um... Rangers of the New Republic is a different story. Um, I'll probably do a separate video on that. Probably talking about that. Uh, But, yeah. uh, Yeah, so now I'm going to basically be talking about some other news. Um, So, yeah, my voice tone kind of sounds a little bit, like, sad or not not happy or something. But I'm actually pretty happy for... um, Pedro Pascal, as he landed the role of Joel in the Last of Us movie or TV show. I'm not too familiar with it. I just know it's a video game um, that was getting a movie. It's very popular. I was actually planning on checking that out, the video game, playing it maybe. I kind of understand a little bit. I know that it follows like two characters and it's like a zombie apocalypse or something. I, I, I don't, I'm not too familiar, but... Yeah, he he landed that role, and apparently his role is like a first role, or something like that. I am not too sure what the exact word term is there, but basically what it means, what I'm trying to say here, is it's his primary role, and he um, it's like he uh, I don't know how to say this, but he's like. That's the role he's, um, uh, the word's not coming. Uh, like, basically, he, th- this role comes first, basically. That's what I'm going to say, that this role comes first out of all of his roles, um, including the Mandalorian. Um, it's kind of sad, but I'm pretty sure it's because probably the pay. Um, if you ever had seen my casting when I was talking about cast videos and stuff in Star Wars, you'll notice that I said that they get lower actors and pay them less, right? Um, well, I'm pretty sure he's still on his original contract for The Mandalorian, and they probably didn't pay him millions. Of, they may have, but I'm not exactly sure what his pay was, but I'm I'm going to take a guess and say Last was probably paying him more, uh, which is understandable, I mean... Pedro Pascal is a pretty good actor, in my opinion. I mean, I, I liked his acting a lot. Uh, I had no problems with it at all. Um, and especially, they're trying to make money and stuff, and it's a business after all, but whatever. So yeah, um, in terms of news and stuff, like this show, I'm not too, or movie, or whatever it is. I should really check that out, but um, yeah, uh, the movie... It's supposed to be, I'm pretty sure they're going to want, they basically have first dibs on him, basically, to use him for stuff. Okay, it's going to be a TV show. Yeah, so it's going to be apparently a TV show. So, yeah, that's going to definitely demand more out of him, probably, because TV shows are longer and stuff. So, um... Yeah, on that that note, it might co- um, cause like conflicts 
in him, uh, how, uh, sorry, it might cause conflicts in filming the Mandalorian, which can definitely screw up things, um, a lot of things, because The Last of Us might get start filming in 2022, and same does The Mandalorian. Um, I've been seeing around the place that we could get be getting less of him showing his face, which actually does make sense. Um, maybe what you can do is maybe have a body double or whatever playing, just walking around in the Mandalorian armor. Um, and then maybe have Pedro come in on a few days out of when he's not filming The Last of Us and record the lines. And if there's like he has face scenes, do those. Um, I, I definitely think that's what might happen. Uh, yeah, I kind of understand why he obviously chose The Last of Us over Mandalorian. That makes sense. Uh, and also Warner, whoever's, I think it's Warner Brothers. They probably were like, wanted him as one dibs because they're probably trying to beat out Disney right now. And to be honest, they're probably getting the edge, especially with the Care Dune thing. Uh... But yeah, that's that's most of the news really I have to talk about that. Uh, I just so you guys know I'll be doing what I want to see and stuff from this as well, and I'll probably there'll be more news eventually. Whatever, I just saw it when I do this video today. But other than that, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.